boom here we go neos entering robotics and that's just hours after i was making a video around the topic that you know we see the whole things like the ai stack the chips the software know me um and whatnot and where is the next step where's the next iteration what's coming after uh, nothing announced so far but now we get this linkedin job description for an ai robotics researcher in interestingly san jose california in the us well anyways just kidding obviously that has nothing to do at all with my uh video and he was not watching my videos and following my advice i guess uh but uh yeah it's just a little bit of a a fun example here how fast things can go but you know anybody could read that into neo i guess and we've seen other signs i think on top of that um, that there is a likely entry by neo into the robotics opportunity there right so for example if you look at previous neo capital bulletins here that was march 2025 neo capital invests in humanoid robotics firm limax dynamics so as you know Neo Capital is a separate company from Neo, so it's not a direct involvement in terms of that Neo, us where we are invested as shareholders in Neo company, is also investing in this robotics company. No, that's not the case. But Neo Capital is always a good read on where things will be heading with Neo on top later on at some point, because what's happening is that Neo Capital is making an investment in this company. Uh, it's both headed like Neo Capital and Neo is both spearheaded by Lee Bin. So at some point there will have meeting paths, synergies, and Neo will possibly uh, become a, a customer of Limex or um, in some sort um, collaborate with them. So this job application here or the job offering by Neo in California is just one other hint out of many, and um, you know, also just how I interpret what's happening uh, with the company in terms of, yeah, that they've been a little bit stagnant, um, possibly f fixing or f fixated around uh, the whole uh, EV and car delivery business uh, for the profitability uh, topic, right? And now that, as I outlined in my last video, that uh, the lookout further is extended based on uh, how the market dynamics work and how possibly NEO is um, geared towards profitability they now can look at new initiatives again and so this is one of them um, robotics i think it makes a lot of sense i argued that nomi possibly needs a new body um, and yeah if you look into this um, you know top description a little bit more in depth um, they're talking about uh, here embodied ai so that's physical ai some sort of a body uh, where they can uh, used to AI models such as to the new world model you know it's obviously applied in the car but there are different application cases uh, based on that technology and um, yeah I think one logical iteration also for Nomi itself this smart assistant this sort of an AI early AI uh, device is also to get outside of the car maybe into the phone maybe into another sort of a body and um, yeah this is sort of a research position here based interestingly in the US seems like this is where they think they can get talent although there's lots of talent in, in China as well but um, you know that's a very very concrete hint that Neo is working on something in this area and um, if we're just looking a little bit at this company here this Chinese company where they invested you can see that they have different type of products this is a full-sized humanoid robot I think that's making it a little bit different from other startups that we see like Unitree and so on which are more compact so this is more in the area of a Tesla um, Optimus uh, full size almost human size uh, or maybe actual human size um, um, yeah, model product type of um, uh, thing here but I you know despite despite seeing that and how it's looking eerily sim uh, similar to uh, what we see also with Optimus um, you know those application cases in the factory and so on I'm not entirely sure if that is really the ultimate road where Neo will, will be going down towards um, because you know one of the highlights of Neo has been I think 
particular with Nomi, how it's a more sociable and emotional intelligent device. So not so much about the, you know, the robotics itself, but maybe more about the intelligence behind that and how it's um, helping people definitely in their daily lives, in, in their in kind of becoming your next friend, right? So. Um, Let's assume here Neo goes into humanoid robots. I think they will be more of a late follower at this stage, right? As we've seen other companies going um, pretty, pretty fast. And I mean, this company, Limax, is possibly already much further down the line than the Neo themselves are. But obviously, them spearheading this technology uh, will also make it really easy for Neo to catch up with what's the, uh, the best practices right now, what is, for example, the best. Um, Hand, uh, you know, we heard Elon Musk talking about the challenge, the engineering challenge of making a, a real capable hand there. And I think these sort of startups are working on that. There are many other um, examples here. Uh, yeah, here you have it, um, the different hand types and um, with that applications like hand models, like looking like a real uh, human hand and grippers, which are maybe more some... Um, you know, uh, factory use cases that you, they, they can be used. And then the, the latest stuff is all this just dexterous hands, which are you know, very, very powerful, close to human hands in, in general. But um, that is something that I think they can at some point really jump onto the bandwagon with the latest technology. But what I expect from a neo robotics case really is to, to get to a different angle than what the rest of the industry is in. And uh, I'm hoping that in 2026 or whenever they are going to announce the specifics of this product that they're going to bring out, um, that I can really show how it's differentiated from, from the rest, let's say the Tesla Optimus and so on. So um, I think that way also, it's actually not a bad strategy to be a late follower, to be honest, because, um, you know, just see what's going to work, where the industry is headed, and then hopefully overtaking them with a special angle. I think that would be the Neo playbook, in my opinion. And now with those very, very concrete examples, I think it's uh, almost yeah, fair to say that this is a guaranteed move that we will be announced at some point that they um, are getting into this embodied AI. And then we'll see um, good chances, I think, here for a humanoid version, but maybe also with this angle that I just described, a little bit something else. Um, you know, the, the Nomi 2.0, that's what I'm expecting here from Neo. And then, you know, some would argue the downsides are uh, they're late, it's costing R&D, it's a distraction, um, they don't have the massive scale that others have, for example, the, the footprint of a Tesla and so on. Again, that's why I'm um, really expecting Neo to have their own uh, pragmatic and differentiated angle towards that. I'm not expecting them to do exactly one-on-one -on -one to what we see others already out there and building. Uh, but I'm really excited to see what could Neo's own vision be based on that. And uh, I do think they have the, the foundations for it, right, with these sort of investments plus the um, the talent which they have around Renshaw seeing the Neo World model, which in itself is also a different approach already than FSD, for example. And out of that, there will be something new. And now we have it almost guaranteed, in my opinion, just in a couple of days after or hours after my last video. So what do you think? Where's Neo heading to? Um, I'm personally excited about that. And yeah, hope investors see it as that as well. See you in my next video.